What up, YouTube? Big Lou, Big Louise Coach Review back here with another review, and today we're here to do a little review on the Bestia Mechanical Tube Mod. That's right. This is the Bestia. This is the smallest 2700 mechanical tube mod on the market today, only available in a Facebook group. And you can check the link down in the description down below. Now, this mechanical tube mod was brought to you by a guy by the name of Ernesto Sanchez Cervantes. And this guy worked in a vape shop for a really long time, building coils for his customers and clients that came in. And he was a vapor for five years, still is a vapor, has been using mechanical tube mods for roughly about four years now. So four years using purchasing, collecting high-end mechanical tube mods, okay? He's bought all sorts of mods like AV mods, the entire collection, Comp Life mods, the entire collection, Scoundrel, Purge, Bane, etc., etc. Basically, it's not easy being a vapor who collects mechanical tube mods because he's aware that there is a high price point to buying quality mechanical tube mods. So sitting in a vape shop all that time, Ernesto was saying to himself, he's like, you know what, I got all these mechanical tube mods, I should come out with something, at least something to make a statement, something that's going to be small, something that's going to hit hard, something made of naval brass, something simplistic, yet mechanical, yet ingenious okay and he came out with this side fire mechanical tube mod and the battery is in constant connection with the rda and the mechanical tube mod at all times the switch is where you would close the circuit but the switch is part of the body of the mechanical tube mod and i'm going to show you how it closes circuit, which is actually really cool. And he came up with this nice logo design and a really cool concept here. I really, really dig the 2700 mechanical tube mod. I mean, it's really nice. He's coming out with a single 18650 small. Smallest, thinnest, hardest hitting mechanical tube mod that he can come up with as well. So I'm looking forward to that one as well. Um, this one here is going to go for 260 euros. He has a fully engraved one that looks like this. And that one is going for 330 euros, okay? Now, when I say euros, it's because he's based out of Spain. And this is just to prove to you that basically every vapor out there that's buying mechanical tube mods has these hopes and dreams of maybe one day coming out and releasing a product that is by their standards, by their wants and needs. You know, simple but originative, simple but cool. And that's exactly what this mechanical tube mod illustrates. Small, simple, but heavy, and a hard hitter. It's a really nice mechanical tube mod. I mean, for those of you out there that are collecting mechanical tube mods, I'm sure this is definitely one you're gonna want in the, your arsenal. So let's dive up close, let's check out this mechanical tube mod, and let's go from there. So here we go, we got the Bestia mod, and this is the packaging that it comes in. They got a really cool logo uh, on the top of the box. And what's interesting about this box, it's actually a pretty big box, and the lid is on an angle. So when you open it, it opens like this. Your mod will be sitting in this cradle, and it comes with a magnet that if you're gonna be using 18650 batteries, you can accommodate this mod to use an 18650. Just put this magnet at the positive or negative portion of your battery. And from there, it will make up the space in the height. Now, I won't be using this for 18650 ever. So I'm simply just going to use it for the 2700 application. So we have a total height of 77.3 millimeters in height. At the widest portion of the mechanical tube mod, we're sitting at 30.16 millimeters in diameter. And then at the top portion, at the 510, we're sitting at 25 millimeters exactly. So looking at the top of this mechanical tube mod, I've got serial number 116. 
This comes in three pieces, this mechanical tube mod. You have your lower portion, which has a very fine thread and a little long to the threading. But there's a reason for that. basically three pieces. You have your bottom portion, your top portion, and a center black Delrin portion. And there's a reason for this, okay? Now looking into the negative portion, or I like to refer it as the negative portion of the mechanical tube mod, because I usually just drop the negative area of my battery towards the bottom portion of the mechanical tube mod. Now on the underside of the mechanical tube mod, you'll notice they have a laser engraving of their logo. Uh, pretty cool logo, it's different. Uh, it's not like any other logo I've seen, so that's actually pretty cool. I like how when you keep turning it, it always looks like there's tops of those cubes basically. So. You know, no matter how you turn it, the logo is always going to look the same in a, in a sense. So I actually really dig the way the logo looks. Now examining the threads up close, you can see they are very, very fine threaded. Very fine threaded. Looking down into the top portion of the mechanical tube mod where the switch area is, you'll notice... You'll notice the threads and our actual switch mechanism, which is just a part of the tube itself. Basically, when you want to make connections, you just basically push on this lever that has been machined part of the tube. So you basically push it in. So you can see the fine threads on the inside of the Delrin. The fine threads are basically there to go on the fine threads of the mechanical tube. Now, could they have done this with thicker threading? Absolutely. For some reason, they did it with finer threading, and I think it's because they needed the fine threads for when the switch makes contact with the negative portion of the body of this mechanical tube mod. When we screw on our Delrin, you'll notice that some of the finer threading is poking out through the top. The reason for this is that when you stick your battery, I'm using an Amp King 2700, you stick your negative portion of your battery in, the th bigger threads of the top portion of the mech will go on the bigger threads of the Delrin. Now, it's got bat battery rattle simply because the battery's sitting in there, but there's nothing in there to push down on the battery. The one RDA I'll be using is an Apocalypse RDA. And the reason why I'm using an Apocalypse RDA is simply because it has that elongated 510 connection pin. You can see the pin on it does protrude a lot. And I found using certain RDAs won't work on here unless they have the elongated pin. Now if you notice, there's a little space there between the RDA and the mech, simply adjust that by backing out the Delrin. And then once you have full connection of your RDA, you simply just tighten this down. So once your battery is set up inside the mech tube with your RDA sitting nice and flush on the top 510 area, just push in on your side fire and it will fire. Basically, when you push this button in, it's going to be making contact with this brass right here. You got that? So, nice and solid. 
nice and solid. So there you have it, the bestia from Ernesto Sanchez Cervantes. That's right, mechanical Dumont from Spain. Let me tell you, check out his Facebook group. You'll go in there. He's got some really cool designs of this mechanical tube mod, the engraved one. I really wish I could get my hands on that one, but that one's hard to come by. But he does make these mechanical tube mods in small batches, but they're always available. He's always, every time he's, he makes money on these mechanical tube mods, he reinvests them and uh, reinvests that money and profit into making more mechanical tube mods. So he's not taking the money and sticking it in his pocket. He's just making bigger batches as he goes, okay? He's only one guy with a few friends that gave him the collective ideas on how this mechanical tube bot should work, perform, and look. And he's done an excellent job. I'm a big supporter of it. It's a great mechanical tube mod, and I highly suggest anybody out there that's collecting mechanical tube mods is to have this in your arsenal. That's for sure. So for me to YouTube, peace out. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out of here. Laters.